Hi, my name is Zach and I'm in grade eight. Hi, my name is Annika and I'm in grade eight. Hi, my name is Cohen and I'm in grade 11. Hi, my name is Persia, I'm in grade 11. Hi, my name is Luca and I'm in grade 10. Hi, my name is Cole, I'm 15 and I've been a part of Pacific Community since I was a baby. I was taught about who God was in the stories of the Bible, but as I grew up, I found myself having growing doubts. I felt believing in God and praying was not a benefit for my life and it was not a priority for me. Before I truly accepted Jesus, I always felt loved by my parents, but I felt like there was something missing. Before I accepted Jesus as my savior, I never really cared about being religious. I went to church with the rest of my family. I thought Jesus was like a distant family member that was never really there and you didn't really know. Before I received Jesus, my life was normal. I went to school, I went home, I played sports, but I felt like there was something missing. I didn't, felt like I didn't belong because I'm autistic and felt different. I was born into a Christian home, so I don't know a life without Jesus. I gave my life to Jesus around the age of six, but there have still been struggles. I struggled with being deceitful at home and at school. I found myself not being honest, and any time I was put into a situation where I could lie, that was my choice. I needed a lot of prayer, and I was not the person I wanted to be or who God intended me to be. A couple years ago, I started feeling rocky and low. I didn't think that I was good enough to be accepted by God. Sometimes I would cry myself to sleep. I felt a lot of pressure about school and thought nobody cared about me. My life felt as if it was nothing. There has been times uh, in my life where I've been, haven't been in the best mental state. I would have random thoughts come into my head and it was all I could think about. It consumed my life. Um, it consumed my life so much that I couldn't live my life normally. It was affecting so many areas of my life. And sometimes I felt like I didn't want to be here anymore. I felt like a burden to people. I would feel happy for a bit when something good happened, but then I would feel sad again. I had good friends, a family, a dog who could ask for more. But whenever I dwelt on it, all of it felt shallow. Shallow as the deep end of a pool is shallow. It's taller than me, but no pool is deep compared to the ocean. I knew I had more to live for and that Jesus was the only way to find out how to do that. I've been learning about the gospel for my whole life, but I wasn't fully committed. I wanted to share about God, but I felt like I couldn't because I wasn't fully bought in. I wanted to change that. When I went to Camp Kakoa, I felt God calling me. I leaned into it and prayed that night. A couple weeks later, I prayed again. I couldn't believe how good I felt. It was like my life finally meant something. I needed someone to serve, a perfect master. God helped me through my struggles by giving me some slow and steady love. Leading up to camp, I was feeling the burden of my sins and I was st starting to recognize why I needed Jesus. Searching for forgiveness, I felt the presence of Christ through worship at youth and especially at Camp Kakawa. When I went to Camp Kakawa with the youth, I felt the presence of God surrounding me. I could feel him moving through everyone in the room. There, I had the realization that I wanted to accept Jesus. I wanted to get baptized. I started to fully believe and trust in Jesus uh, when I was going through this. I started to pray and I told Jesus that I needed his help and guidance because I didn't know what to do. Uh, God put people in my life to help guide me and um, get me through this struggle in my life. I started believing in God a few years ago. I was lying awake at night. It was quite dark in my room and I remember feeling scared of something. Some boogeyman on TV, I don't remember. I thought I should pray to God to help me, so I did. I couldn't tell you my prayer, only part of it. God, would you send down a guardian angel to protect me? Just then, I felt safer than I ever have before or since. The peace of God had filled me. I heard about him my whole life from my parents and at church. I believed what they told me about him, but during COVID, I spent a lot of time on my own because both my parents worked in healthcare and I started to search more deep, search more deeply about faith on my own. I told my mom I wanted to get baptized. She found this youth group for me. Everyone accepted me and was my friend. I asked Jesus to accept me and work through me so that I could tell others about him. 
gave me the confidence to teach people, and in that confidence, I'm getting baptized. I remember the one night at youth during the worship when Pastor Diane invited us to raise a hand if we sensed God calling us, and that was the night I put my full faith in Jesus. Since then, I felt God pull me to get baptized because I have seen that He is the reason I got through that time. Uh, he is the reason that I had so many people in my life during that time. That is really when I started to fully trust and believe in Jesus. Right when I went, joined youth, I could see how passionate other people my age were is about Jesus. And it inspired me to be just as passionate. A few months later, I prayed again to God and finally gave Him my life. I've decided to get baptized today because during communion, the love of God became real. That is when I decided to follow God. I heard one of the communion servers say, this is the body of Christ broken for you. The truth of that just hit me. I thought, what would it be like to have nails forced into my hands? I love music and I play the piano, but I would never be able to create a melody after that. <laughs> one day I prayed with Pastor Diane and Ashley for Jesus to come into my heart. I feel like Jesus really loves me and understands me. Jesus knows all of my worries. He is helping me to learn to love not just my friends, but even the people who don't accept me for who I am. Someone who I've never given much thought died for me. Jesus died for me. Now that Christ is living in me, I have been freed from the burden of my past sins and I have been given the gift of the Holy Spirit. Once I started to fully trust in Jesus, I saw that these struggles went away. I have been able to live my life without worrying about what's gonna happen because I know Jesus has a plan for me. I have also seen growth in my faith since then. Being plugged into youth and young life has also really helped me because I have leaders and friends to support me through the struggles of my life. I want to follow God and I want Him to use me to help others see the light He has for us. After I accepted God into my life, I started reading my Bible more and really thinking about the words on the page. I'm a deep thinker and there are lots of questions I would love to dig deeper about. I feel more joy now, not only when good things happen, I feel loved and like I belong. I'm appreciated. I wanted to move forward in life as a faithful disciple of Jesus. I want to go to church consistently, read the Bible, and I want God to use me to tell the world about Him. I want to learn and grow in His Word to deepen my relationship with God. I want to honor God with my life and live the, my life to the fullest by learning more about God and building a relationship with Him through prayer. Even with all the support, I still struggle with worldly distractions and getting distracted from Jesus. I ask Jesus that He will help me not get distracted from Him. I want others to know that I am always there for them because I felt like no one cared about me and I know how it feels. God made me the person who I am. He loves disabled people and wants us all in the world. I still have a lot of anxiety. I want God to keep me, keep helping me not to worry in all the ways in which I'm different. I'm God's creation and I'm wonderfully made. One verse that encourages me to live my life as a child of God is Joshua 1.9. It goes like this. I've commanded you to be strong and brave. Don't ever be afraid or discouraged. I am the Lord, your God, and I will be there to help you wherever you go. Uh, no power in the skies above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 verse 39. This Bible verse has helped me because it has helped me visualize the love God has for me no matter what I'm going through. The Bible verse that stuck out to me was, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. This verse has inspired me along my journey. Then who can be saved, they asked. Humanly speaking, it's impossible. But with God, everything is possible. Matthew 19, 26. A Bible verse that has struck me was Psalms 12, verse 8 says, you, Lord, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked. My favorite Bible verses are 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. I also love John three sixteen. 
which tells me all about God's love and sacrifice for me in the whole world.